Hello, so basically we've got um, a comparator circuit we're going to test today. You're looking at the schematic. That's the comparator chip you can see. There's the chip as it would be laid out on breadboard with all the pins numbered for you. We've got a function generator given an input. You can see what the input should be. It's all colour coded so you should be able to follow it with a bit of luck. And we've also got um, an oscilloscope and the oscilloscope is also colour coded and it's set up to measure the input and output. So when you go to make the circuit, those will be the basic connections you'll be making. Finally, we've got a power supply. Uh, this circuit runs on 5 volts DC and that's an accurate representation of the power supply you're going to use in the lab. This part's very quick. I'm setting the circuit up in multi-sim. You can slow it down if you need to, just to see where the various components are. But it needs to be done quickly, otherwise it becomes quite tedious for anyone that's watching. There's a bit of information along the bottom there you can read on comparators as we go through. And you can become uh, familiar with some of the various terms that are used with comparators, such as inverting and non-inverting. Here I'm setting up the function generator. Uh, there is uh, an offset voltage required for this test of 2.5 volts DC. And riding on that 2.5 volt DC level, we're going to have a 100 millivolt uh, sine wave. And it's set up at 1 kilohertz. Now I'm setting up two oscilloscopes to measure the input and output. I'm set up two because I want to show what happens with the DC level as well. And uh, because we haven't got three, um, three traces on the scope, I need to set up two. So I'm setting them up. Here I'm setting up the time per division. They're both going to be one millisecond per division because it's a one kilohertz signal. Same for oscilloscope two. You'll notice on the bottom oscilloscope, I'm going to set the um, coupling to AC, whereas on the top oscilloscope it's set to DC. Um, when, we, when we set the coupling to AC, it makes it much easier to zoom in on small waveforms. 100 millivolts is not a particularly small waveform, but it's a lot easier for you to see um, in the simulation as opposed to the threshold. So now we do the simulation. That was a sim, very quick course. Here um, I've got a, a paint version of it. So you see the threshold voltage, that's the voltage that's or it's sometimes known as the reference voltage. And that's connected to one of the inputs. And the function generator voltage is the one which varies. This is set up on AC, so it's not a true representation in terms of DC, but it varies. And you can see that as it falls below the threshold voltage, the output of the comparator switches off. And as it rises above the threshold voltage, the output of the comparator switches on. And effectively, that is the basic function of a comparator. It compares two voltages, the threshold or reference voltage, with a varying voltage and its output switch on and off accordingly. Now we can see um, just a little bit more. What I'm doing here is I'm changing some of the circuit parameters. For example, changing the DC level or changing the value of the um, threshold setting resistors R1 and R2 just to see what happens to that waveform. You see that if, if we just take it a little bit outside of its normal parameter, either switches on, switches off, or it changes the value of the waveform. And you can experiment with this yourself just to just to see what happens. Um, on a on a practical circuit, when, when you build this practically, it would be far better, in actual fact, to just use a potentiometer instead of the two resistors because then you've got infinite variation. Now we're going to set up the oscilloscope. We're going to use channel 2 and we've got channel 1, so I'm showing you you can adjust the positions there. Those give you the menus. We're on channel 2 setup at the moment. You want coupling DC. Probe should be 1 times. Channel 2 should be 2 volts. And channel 1 should be 100 millivolts. That's for that one. And finally on the function generator, um, that's near enough to 1 kilohertz. That's where you adjust it. We set a range. I've got the 3, kilo, three kilohertz range, so that will sweep between 0 and 3 kilohertz. Uh, main out, we're going to use 50 ohms. Doesn't really matter for too much for this circuit. Amplitude set there. 
Um, when you come to do this practically, you're not going to be able to use a 100 millivolt waveform. You're going to have to use the smallest I could get it to was 1.4 volts peak to peak. Um, that's with a 2.5 volt DC component or DC level. Um, you see the offset. So when you switch the offset button, it shows you the offset voltage to DC offset. And when you switch the peak to peak button, it shows you the peak to peak voltage. Okay. Hope you have fun with this one. Goodbye.